What's going on? It's your big brother, Trend Genius. You tuned in once again, man. So in this video, I'm about to tell you five signs that someone is using you or they trying to use you, but don't want you to know. All right. So if you're watching this video, I'm about to enlighten you. I'm about to put you on game because sometimes you might not be aware. All right. You probably the type of person you probably like me. Uh, you probably just might be like an overly nice person. And you always just want the good for everybody. You might be a positive person. You never trying to see nobody as a negative person. And then being this type of person, sometimes this could backfire on you. And you can have people in your circle who really using you. And at the end of the day, you're not really getting nothing out of the relationship or the friendship. And then they draining you. So you never really succeed in like you think you are. Okay. They just make you, they just keep you on on a coattail, they just keep you wrapped around them and you don't really know that they actually using you. But it's okay because I'm about to put you up on game of these Decepticons. So stay tuned to the whole entire video. Go off, man. It's your big brother, Trend G. Don't forget to subscribe. Now, I actually got six. Let me change that to six, even though I put five because I just thought about this just now, all right? If you are a very intelligent person, okay, you might be educated, you might have uh, some type of uh, certificate or degree in a particular field, you might be a car salesman, um, you might be a good entre uh, entrepreneur or something, somebody who can build stuff real good, you could be somebody who cleans stuff real good, it don't matter. If you are that type of person that has like a gift in something or a calling, you probably have people around you that use you for your gifting, all right? Like if you're a car mechanic or whatever, and you got family members around you that always want you to fix their car, they always want you to put they, change their tire, they always want you to get them a tune-up, but they never giving you nothing out of it. Or you might be somebody that like know how to cut hair. If you cut hair real good, you probably got close people around you that always want a free haircut. They always want their hair done for free, all right? You being used. I'm just letting you know that, okay? You are being used. If you have some type of skill, some type of skill trade or something, and you do it, and you have people around you that that's not paying you for your time and your worth, they using you, but they don't want you to know it. And see, what they can do sometimes is they can remind you how close they y'all is. Uh, we grew up together. Uh, yeah, you know you my girl. I got you. I, I got you next time when we go out. And then when that next time do come around and y'all go out. Right. You don't get nothing. Right. You was looking for a drink or something. You was looking for you was looking for her to purchase you something when y'all went out to the outlets. Right. But she never did that. She bought everything for herself. You understand what I'm saying? So that's a that's one of the reasons that somebody could be using you is for your intelligence. OK, so you might have people that only want to use you because they know that you will help their life out. Like you'll help them go further and they'll call you. They'll get advice from you and not pay you. You know, they'll ask you what you what you think they should do, get some coaching from you, get a reading from you. Can you read me? Can you read me? But they never going to pay you. They're going to use their friendship as something that as a weapon towards you. So you will you will be blinded by them getting freebies off of you, so to speak. All right. So I just gave you all an extra one right there versus the five. All right. So that ties into the first sign somebody is trying to use you, but don't want you to know. This is the most obvious one. This is why I made this number one. If you always giving everything to them, but they never giving anything back to you, and you just keep second guessing, like, when are they going to give me something? When are they going to take me out? When are they going to buy me something? When are they going to uh, send me a thank you card? When are they going to give me a lollipop? And they never do it, right? They never do it. She never cooks for you, bro. I mean, how many times you done took her out to eat? You know what I mean? How many times you done bought her groceries? How many times have you gave her some money on the side? Has she ever taken you out to eat? Ask yourself that, bro. I'm just keeping it 100. Look, I can't make this shit up. Where they do that at? Has she ever taken you out? Has she ever called you and said, baby, I got reservations for us to go to Cheesecake Factory. I got reservations for us to go to Maggiano's. What? Reservation? Yeah, I already booked it for this coming Thursday night. Has she ever done that? No. Has she ever said, hey, I'm going to bring some groceries to your crib. You don't mind if I bring some groceries to your crib. Matter of fact, give me a shopping list. Text me a shopping list of what you need, baby. And I'm like, what? What? That's what you're going to be thinking. Like, because it's never really happening because she always using you. You understand? And then she actually comes over and cooks for you the things that she bought for you. And then you still got food in your refrigerator that she bought you. How many times has that ever happened? Where they do that at? You probably like, where do they be doing that at, big bro? I need a woman like that. Well, I'm telling you, bro, they really probably don't even exist, okay? And if they is, 
shit, they hard to find, okay? But the point that I'm making is, if you always giving your, your all and your everything for people, and that same person is never, never f fulfilling it back up inside of you, okay? That person is using you. They draining you. They take it from you. Can't you see it? And for some of y'all, it's been going on for years and years and years. But see, the person that you're dealing with is very smart, okay? Obviously, because you ain't caught on to it yet. They using you, they bamboozling you, manipulating you psychologically, making you think that they are always your friend. They gonna always have your back, but you can proudly say they have not given you more. They have not given you more than you have given them. It seems like you have gave them overly more than what you're supposed to give them, but yet you still make them your friend, don't you? Where they do that at, man? They using you, okay? Sorry to expose it, but they using you, all right? Now, another sign somebody using you is they always want to know who your friends are. You ever got a person that always calling you and they say, um, where you at? Who you hanging out with? Or are you dating right now? Are you, are you, who are you going out with? Uh, what is he like? What is she like? You know, they always trying to figure out who your closest friends are. They always trying to figure out who you going out with, who you, what you doing tomorrow or night and stuff like that. People like that is trying to use you. You know how they trying to use you? Because they trying to get next to the people that you close to. All right. Some people, some people are so miserable with their life. Some people are so stuck and they can't attract anything into their life. The only way they know they can attract something into their life like that you have or something similar that you have is by doing it through you. OK, so you will have homies or whatever. They hang around you because he know you are attractive, dude. He know you take good care of yourself. You healthy. You look good. You very smart. You know what I'm saying? He know you got it going on, bro. He gonna want to come around you just so he can get the little side piece girls when you finish with him. Yeah, the leftover. Yeah, put them in the fridge where y'all to eat them all. Hey, can we get? The, can we come in, wait? Can we get the go box, please? Yeah, man, calm down. This is a five star restaurant. You acting kind of ghetto. Okay, I'm just letting you know we ready to go. Yeah, that's why they with you because they can get the leftovers because they're not as attractive as you. You have people that, that look that like you for your beauty. They say, oh, you so sexy. You look good. Oh, my God. You are so beautiful. They use all the syllables so you can understand how beautiful you is. You, you ain't got to tell me that. I already know that shit. It's, what, you trying, what you trying to do? Because that was ab abnormal. You know what I mean? You'll just know it, man. You'll just know it. These are people that's using you for your friendships and your connections. That's why they always want to know where you get this done at. How you get your hair done like that. Where you get that shirt from. Who you know that work at this store. Who you date last. What was your ex like? They always want to know this shit because they're going to take your information and go back and do research on this shit. And then they're going to figure out who you was with and they're going to go try to holler at that person. Because they your friend. That's all they got to tell them is yo, they your friend. They know you. <laughs> don't be telling them you know me. Don't tell them no, no, no. You don't know big bro. No, 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 little grasshoppers. No, not, not me. Listen, the third sign that somebody is using you but don't want you to know is when they talking shit about you behind fake profiles. You ever had people that do that to you? You ever had people that like, they, they like hecklers or they always trying to throw you some shade and you never know who their profile is or they're using a fake name or something like that to try to like make you look bad or try to put you down. These people are using you. You didn't know that, did you? I'm about to tell you why, okay? Listen, what they will do, people that do that to you and they, they, trying, to, they trying to send you a message and let you know you are a bad person. Oh, you're going to hell because... You, you do this. You, you live this type of lifestyle. Oh, my God. You a stripper. Da, da, da. And I know you 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 wasn't raised like that. And you ain't right. You know what I'm saying? You this. You that. The reason why they're doing that is because they want to use your exposure or your popularity and the attention of having a spotlight on you. They want to use that for themselves. So if they can get you to think about them and all the junk that they're talking they will like get some type of happiness like, yes, I'm somebody special. They said something to me. They slow. You got to understand, folks. These people are dumbed down. They are slow. They got to hide to do it. They got to hide behind fake paper, Instagram pages. They got to hide behind fake images that ain't really even them and pretend like they somebody else. They are miserable and they are sick. Okay? And they are slow. Dumbed down slow. Huh? Where you do that at?
Yeah. And see, another thing they'll do is they'll talk shit about you. They'll talk down on your name to other people because they know that other person ain't going to do nothing but go back and snitch and tell you. And and this is how they get their attention. This is how they feed. This is how they feed because they some Decepticons. You know what I mean? They feed off the darkness. You know what I mean? They don't. They scared of the light. Soon the sun come out, I'd be like, ah, ah, oh, I'm melting. Ah, ah. They they some Decepticons, man. They low vibe and low frequency ass motherfuckers. Okay. So if people doing it to you, just know they trying to use you for your attention, your name, or your exposure. Tell them to put some respect on your name. All right. Now the fourth sign, is, the fourth sign is somebody is trying to use you. And they don't want you to know it's when somebody left your life, right? Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what Big Bro saying. I can't make this shit up, man. I can't. Huh? I can't make it up. All right? Uh, listen, if somebody was with you at one point in your life, right? That's how you know they're trying to use you. Y'all was cool. You gave that person all of your heart, your trust, your commitment as a friend or a partner. And then they had the nerve to walk out on you just to get five minutes of fame, just to get that little hit that makes them feel like they are more superior than you. They was trying to use you. Listen, think about it, folks. Think about what I'm saying. Why would somebody work so hard to get with you and, and, and to be up under your wing, right? And then you give them all your trust because you know they really like you. You, you know they really are trying their hardest to be with you, right? And then you finally give them a little piece and fragment of your heart. How is it that they can have the courage to just up and just leave you all of a sudden? How, why do they do that? Because they was trying to use you for something. They was trying to use you for something. But see, you wasn't giving them all of it. Okay? These people can be narcissists. These people are, these people are really, they have a real problem with attention. Okay? So... Since they know that it was still some parts of you that they didn't have bound yet and, and captive. They didn't have your ankles with shackles on them yet. You know what I'm saying? You wasn't a slave yet. They couldn't groom you down and beat you, Toby. Because you was just good boy. You was a house negro. All right? They, they see they couldn't psychologically whip you. They couldn't whip you. You know what I mean? You know how it is when you get whipped, right? Somebody whip you because they putting that thing on you. You know what I mean? Or, you know, they just got too much charisma. And then some some, some guys and girls, they get whipped. And they forget who they are. The next thing they know, they be sitting up under the shade tree shaking. I can't go nowhere right now, bro. Why you can't go nowhere? She gonna know if I be out on well. Bro, it's gonna be all right. We just, we just going to play basketball. I know. I know. But she'll come after the basketball court if I go. Bro, what's what's the problem? Man, don't don't ask me about this, man. We in love, man. I don't want to play basketball no more. All right, man. All right, I'll talk to you later. I peep, bro. He whipped. He whipped. It, it ain't no other question about it. Listen, ain't no doubt about it. Listen, and listen, they haven't spoken you to a long. They haven't spoken to you in a long time after they leave you. And then guess what they do after five, six months of observing you, seeing your product, seeing your productivity, seeing how far you have you have ventured out and how good you are doing. Guess what they are gonna do? They are gonna come right off that damn mountain, out that cabin, come right in your face again. Hey, I was thinking about you yesterday. I know your birthday coming up in one month. I just want to see, I miss you. I just want to let you know, we don't have no bad blood, and it was my fault, and um, those were my dark days. Yeah, those were my dark days, but I I healed it, and Jesus fixed it. I just want you to know I love you still, and I just want you to know that um, you always got a place in my heart, Tammy. Where did they do that at? Okay, after they don't, after they don't bash you and then set you rocks, you know what I'm saying? They don't told you you was a bad, and they ran off on you with the plug. And then when you start doing good again, they want to come right back. You know why they want to come right back? Because they see you as a meal ticket. They see you got something that they can use again, and they want to repeat the cycle all over again. Where do they do that at? You ain't doing it all over again with me. Uh uh, not till period. Let them let them have it. Listen. Last but not least, 
This is how you know somebody's trying to do, use you. Last but not least, you have people. You have people that actually see where you have gone in life. They'll, they'll see your status. They'll they'll see how much you have groomed and you know how much you have bloomed and all your happiness. When they be watching you on your social media, they be looking and grinding at you because you're so happy because you you took a picture by an apple tree. Why are you mad at me because I'm planting in a garden now? They mad at you because you planting your own garden. Where they do that at? Yo, yo, mad at you because you mad at you because you you went shopping, and now they wanna see what they wanna do and try to use you is they gonna try to get back with you so you can make them look good. Don't you know you have people around you that's using you because you make them look good? All right, fellas, you have girls. That come around you because they want to get their nails done. They want to get their hair done. They want to get some implants. They want to get some, what's you call that shit? Liposuction. You know what I mean? Because they broke and they don't have no, they don't have no motivation and no desire for anything else in life other than to try to look good off of your money, off of your hard earned resources. And then guess what they're going to do? They're going to take all that shit that you buying them. They're going to, they're going to see you on another day and they're going to take all that makeup and all that hair that they bought from you. You feel me? Or that you bought for them. And they're going to go over there and try to holler at the next dude. It's a cycle with them, bro. They got this shit down to a damn science. You don't know that? This how people use you, bro. This how they be using you. But they don't want you to know. And they'll get right in front of your face. And they'll say, you are the king. Oh, baby, you a queen, baby. Ain't you, you natural beauty, baby. I love you. You look good. Don't nobody do it like you, baby. You the, you like my, I think I'm going to make you my wife. I'm going to marry you. They'll get right back in your face and gas you up and hype you up. You know why? So they can use you. So that you can give them all that you got. They're going to take all that you have given them. And they're going to run to that damn mountain. And they're going to dance and shit and try to attract some more shit that you don't even know about. Low key. It's the Jezebel shit, y'all. It's what they do. They manipulation. It's all manipulation. The look is a facade. They look good, but it's fake. It ain't even really in their heart. They really kind of dumb and on the inside, but they look good though on the outer shell. Yo, they look good on the outer shell, but I guarantee you, you sprinkle some salt on them, they'll shrivel up. Where they do that at? <laughs> These are the five signs someone is trying to use you, but don't want you to know. Don't say nobody didn't tell you, man. It's your big bro, big brother trend. Hey, make this video your favorite, man, if you want to come back to it. If you ever run into some Decepticons in the future and you second guessing this dude or this woman, listen to this video and listen to all these signs that I'm telling you in this video. And you, it will confirm to you whether or not the person that you're dealing with is using you or whether or not they are actually interested in you. Okay? So if you got all of these signs, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you got one of the signs, make sure you just write below which ones you got and cut them off. That's one thing I suggest you to do. All right. Other than that, somebody please make me a timestamp of all these five, six signs that I just mentioned. So everybody can go back into the video and um, click exactly what sign I talked about. All right. Other than that, man, I know y'all seen the new meditation, uh, live meditation, 24 seven meditations that I got. Yeah, they about to be on the channel regularly. I'm going I'm to put like five or six or seven of them on there like every month. Okay, and I'm going to be switching them out because I know as star season chosen ones, it's, it's very, very important that we have a sound mind, man, and that we be at peace with ourselves. I'm at peace right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I had a bad two, two past weeks, man. I already know y'all know, but I'm at peace right now. And that's what kind of inspired me to want to do meditation videos now. So... I'm going to run 24-7 meditation videos all throughout the day. They ain't never going to stop, folks. Okay? And they're going to be running. And y'all can listen to them all through the night. It's going to calm your spirit. It's going to release anxiety. It's going to give you positive thoughts and all that. The only thing you need to do is stay tuned to them. Okay? Go to sleep on them. Meditate on them. All right? You'll feel a lot better every single day. All right? Other than that, um, what else I got to say? Other than that, man, I think that's about it for now. If you need anything, holler at Big Bro. Look at the top comment section. You will see um, how to get in contact with me or whatever you, you need from me. Also, do not respond to WhatsApp. A fake WhatsApp page is out there trying to scam my name, folks. And I'm about to get rid of their ass real soon because I don't went to the law about the shit. So um, if somebody's telling y'all to uh, send them WhatsApp cash or money or something like that, and then comment up there and send me up, that's not me, folks. I'm verified. I got a check mark beside my name that's in a dark circle. Okay. Do not send me a message saying, Trend, did you tell me to WhatsApp you? That's not me. I wouldn't need, why would I have to tell you to WhatsApp me? You feel me? 
So do not listen to the scammers, folks. It's your big brother, Trend Genius. I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Peace.